When you record, you often want to record in a loop because that's a great way to keep trying different ideas without having to stop recording. What I've done here is I've set up a loop. I'm going to create an audio track. Here it is. And then I'm just going to record a few different things in a loop. And what you will see is that Reason records them all one on top of each other. Well, you won't see it at first, but you'll see it after the recording's finished. So I'm just going to try some recording. Okay, now you saw that I recorded over in a loop there a few times. If I double click on this clip, you can see that it's captured each of those takes in a separate comp lane or compositing lane. I can audition any of them by pressing this little button here, switching to single take mode, and you'll see that the take that's outlined in green is the one I want. I'm actually going to get rid of this area before the loop here because I don't need it. I'm going to switch this back to something more sensible, like bar, and I'm going to zoom in. So here are my various takes. That first one was a bit of a non-starter, so I can cut that out. There it goes. So you can hear I kind of messed up the beginning of this one. So what I can do is I can make this the audible take here. And then I can swap in parts of other takes. If I move these comp handles here, I can swap in the first part of take one, but then I can hear the rest of take four. Let's see how that sounds. And then if I hold the Alt key and click here, I can insert another comp handle. And release the mouse. And I can make this part audible again at the end by double clicking on it. So what I've done here is I've selected the first part of take one, the middle part of take four, and then the end part of take one again. And that's a fairly simple example with the shaker, but you can imagine if you had, for example, a guitar lick or a vocal take where you'd been trying various different things, maybe you'd done the same thing over and over again, in fact, on, on one of the takes was nearly perfect, except for one word or a couple of notes that you messed up. What you can do is you can zoom in and you can find exactly the right bits of each take, audition them if you like, again with these. and then select the bits that you want. Each take has its own mini volume slider. So that take is actually a bit loud, so I can turn it down. You can see that these controls up here are still available, actually, which is quite nice. So I'm able to change the pitch of different parts of different takes as well. So although it's it's maybe slightly fiddly to look at, it's actually not that difficult to get a hold of. You can select a take by selecting it in here, double click it to make it active, use these take handles to choose a section of the take, hold the Alt key, drag, release to create a new handle and create a new division. So I could say I want that part of take three audible here, for example. That might not sound great because I'm just doing this slightly at random. Yeah, doesn't sound amazing. Sounded better like it was before. There are a couple of other things that you can do with comping, so let's look at those next. 